In this segment, we will look into ACID properties. ACID stands for atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability. These are very important properties for transitional databases. The databases need to the databases need to basically support these properties uh, to maintain the integrity of the data. So what we will do is that we will take a very simple example of an ice cream vendor selling an ice cream. See that how acid comes into play. So let's say that this is our guy, the ice cream vendor, and he has got an ice cream. And uh, this is another guy uh, who has got money to give to the ice cream vendor. So, so the ice cream vendor is selling an ice cream at hundred dollars. Costly ice cream, but anyway, for the example purpose, we'll go ahead with this example and see that how different uh, properties come into play. So, to start with, let's look into atomicity. Okay. So, what atomicity says that it's like one or none kind of thing, sorry, all or none kind of thing. Either the transaction should pass completely or it should fail completely. So what it means is that after the transaction, there can be only two states. One state is that this guy has got the money and this guy has got the ice cream. Okay. The other state that the transaction could be in is that this guy retains the money and this guy retains the ice cream. There is no other state that should be there if the atomicity need to be honored. So what it means is that there should not be a situation where the ice cream is also with this guy and he gets the money also. Or this guy gets the ice cream and retains the money. So both of this situation should not happen if the atomicity need to be on it. Then let's come to consistency. So consistency basically talks about the validity of the data. So it says that the data should remain in a consistent, in a valid state. So it should not happen that this guy only gets, let's say $50. So it should not happen. Though this guy gets the ice cream, but this guy only gets $50. Or this guy should not get like half portion of the ice cream. So Again, from uh, the consistency perspective, either this guy should get $100, the ice cream vendor, and this guy should get the ice cream, or if the transaction fails, it's the other way around, as we looked into atomicity. Then the next level comes is the isolation. So isolation basically talks about how one transaction can see the data of the other transaction. That is what isolation means and it, it, it helps in maintaining the integrity of the data. So if you really think of, there are really two ends of the spectrum. So let's say that there is another guy who comes up. Let's say that this is our different guy and he also gets, he also has $250 bills. Okay. And he also wants to buy the ice cream. So, the thing is that he can also ask for this ice cream. Let's assume that the ice cream vendor has got only one ice cream. So, he can offer to anyone. So, if you really see, there are two extremes of this spectrum. One possibility is that the, the ice cream vendor first works with the first guy only. He doesn't even honors the second guy. Though the guy so, though the guy would have come in the middle and trying to knock at the ice cream vendor, Door, but he would just focus on the first guy, finish the transaction, then come to the second guy and then he might say that, okay, I am finished with my ice cream. The other possibility is that he actually structs a deal with both the guys. So the thing is that this, the second guy comes in the middle and he actually lands up selling the ice cream for both of them and collects money from both of them. But if you really see what would happen is that data would have gone into a bad state. So there are really two spectrum to that one. Uh, if you go, so the first piece, uh, the first way is uh, uh, what we call as the serializable transaction. So uh, what would happen is that the uh, first transaction happen only, then the second transaction could start. But then you have a perform usually you have a performance hit around that because with a million of transactions happening at the same time, you cannot wait for, like really each transaction to happen before the next transaction starts. But of course, the other end of the spectrum is that where the 
other transaction can see the dirty state of the first transaction but then you get into situation where uh, the data can become bad so you need to be careful and uh, there are many strategies around how to handle this without compromising the isolation uh, you have optimistic and pessimistic locking will not get into that one but hopefully this will give you an idea of uh, what what isolation properties means and then the last part is durability it says that basically once the transaction happens the data should remain durable. What it means is that now let's say the transaction is successful. So this guy has the ice cream and this guy has the hundred dollar. But should not happen that like say half an hour later this hundred dollar vanishes and comes back to this guy or the ice cream uh, or for this guy if he puts the ice cream in a freezer the ice cream vanishes and uh, and mysteriously appears in the freezer of the ice cream vendor. So that's that's what durability uh, basically guarantees that the data remains durable. So hopefully with this you should be able to get a fair idea of uh, what asset properties mean.